How's it going guys, Yomitosh here and welcome again to another episode of Jailbreak Wednesdays where I show you the newest tweaks of the week and we'll start it off with the very first tweak, it's called Touch Bar 2 and I vaguely remember the very first Touch Bar but Touch Bar 2 basically gives you the um, buttons on the screen as you can see here so 3D touching this button allows you to go home as you just saw there and this button takes you to your switcher menu which is pretty cool and this button on the left allows you to go to your previous app. So I'm just going to open up settings here. So 3D touching the uh, middle button takes you home and clicking on the arrow back looking button takes you to your previous app. So I'll just open two apps to demonstrate this. So there is app store. So clicking on that will take me to the app store as you can see there. And this will take me to the switcher and this will take me home. So it's not very convenient for me because it pushes everything up and my screen is pretty small. But yeah, that's touch bar too. The next trick is called snap views. And if you want to fake the number of views you've gotten on your Snapchat, well, you can do this with snap views. So I just opened up my Snapchat here. And as you can see, my view count, it shows 1K views. It doesn't show you who views them though, but there it is. If you want to follow me as well, that's my um, Snapchat right there. And we'll just move over to the next tweak. So the next tweak is called person in picture and person in picture allows you to do like a PIP for um, FaceTime, which is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go home here. I've actually enabled a FaceTime call from my other phone to this phone. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go home and as you can see, you can still have your um, FaceTime window right there. You can disable camera and you can cut the call right from here. So I'm just going to do that now. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So I've taken the liberty to remove um, touch bar two, just so I can get on with the rest of the tweaks. And the next one is called power module. So what power module does is give you this style of like um, power modules. So you can go into safe mode, go into UI, um, remove UI cache reboot, lock your screen, power down and respring right from this control center menu that looks very similar to this and it's really nice, especially when you arrange it with uh, CC support, I believe. So yeah, that's one. And you can also enable it to request a confirmation for um, certain um, power modules. So like reboot, you don't want to reboot when you don't have like, um, you haven't signed your Electra IPA. So that's that's a handy feature. The next trick is Breakthrough and Breakthrough basically disables any form of jailbreak detection on your iOS device. And I haven't personally seen any um, application that's detected jailbreak, but with Breakthrough, you can um, cut that off. So the apps cannot detect that you have jailbreak anymore. I think Fortnite probably, I'm not too sure about that. Now, if you're a fan of um, the iPhone 10 like status bar, but you don't exactly want all the gestures to come with it, this trick is for you. This is called Status Bar X, and it basically just gives you the um, iOS 11 or rather iPhone 10 style um, status bar without all the um, gestures. So that's a pretty cool one if you're not into the gestures. The next trick is move my icons down, and I was expecting this to move my icons down, but it actually did, but then it didn't quite do justice for the top right there. Well, it basically fills your screen up with icons. I believe it's just supposed to move it down to like match the spacing for these ones with the dock and maintain the, um, or rather keep the top pretty even, but I guess this should be fixed very soon, but it does look pretty good. It's like a full screen of just applications. Yeah, but it does hamper like the status bar right there. It might be different if you've got fluidity running for the status bar, I've currently disabled it. But yeah, that's move my icons down. And the next trick is called monthly icon and monthly con or monthly icon. And it basically allows the um, name of the calendar app to be replaced by the month of your of the current year. So I currently have it as 5th of June or rather five and then June below. It looks pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to keep this tweak. The next trick is nostalgia and it's probably number nine on this list. See what I did there. And 
It basically brings back the iOS 9 lock sounds, the keyboard sounds, the notification sounds. So I, I remember a few people being upset about the new sounds that came with iOS 10, but this brings back the um, old notification sounds to iOS 11, so that's pretty cool. And the last week of today is Amazon Night, and it basically brings a dark mode to the Amazon app if you use that a lot. I haven't currently gotten it working for some reason, I'll have to check but do try it out if you use the Amazon app a lot. I'll just show you here my Amazon app, if I can find it. There it is. And well, it doesn't really do anything for me. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. And uh, make sure to check out my WWDC related videos on iOS 12 and macOS Mojave. And hopefully I'll see you in the next Jailbreak Wednesday video. So. Yeah, catch you later. Peace.